I know it's been forever since I've uploaded a YouTube video, and for that I apologize. But today, we're going to cast a skull that we're going to use as a beer tap. I think it's going to come out awesome. I'll probably Cerakote it. Burnt bronze? Yeah, that'll work. Burnt bronze skull. With a black spade. Hmm. I think that's going to be wicked. Hey, I'm back. Thanks for watching. It always starts in the driveway with my dog and bags and bags of cans. I've already got the mold made, just needs to get buried in the sand. Once it's completely covered, you add your can on top to give you some headspace. That way the shrinkage in the molten metal happens up in the can, not down in your mold. I finally gotten to the point now where light in the foundry doesn't make me jump. Well, at least not too bad. And spend the next two and a half hours melting down all of your cans. Once you get enough metal built up, add light salt, de-dross or de-gas, and to flux the metal so it'll flow nice. And then de-dross, which is taking all the paint and impurities from the cans off the surface of your nice clean aluminum. Give it about 20 minutes to cool and solidify in the sand and you can pull it out. Still too hot to touch though. Once it cools, this is the result. handy dandy angle grinder to take it off the sprue. The sprue and everything inside the can will get remelted for the next casting. And then lots of sanding. Once you think you've got it sanded smooth, keep sanding. You're not done. Then change angles and keep sanding, and sanding, and more sanding. You might want to get a sander and do some sanding. You get the point. This is going to be a beer tap, so I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of his head here and tap it so that we can thread a rod into it and turn it into a beer tap. Part of the Cerakote process is you've got to sandblast the surface. It etches the metal, gives the Cerakote something to grab a hold of. It also takes off a lot of those sanding marks. 
Shake the Cerakote, mix the Cerakote, spray the Cerakote, and throw it in the oven. Bake it on to cure it. And I'm just using testers paints to do my second color. I wanted the spades to be black. I'm going for high gloss, so I'm going to cover the whole thing in a clear coat. High gloss acrylic. And this is the result once it dried. I'm pretty darn happy with it. From this point, I hand it off to my buddy who's going to do the rest. Alas, poor Yurik, I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on his back a thousand times, and now something imagination my rises it all. Or something along those lines, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself from holding a skull.